Okay, we have a lady who is actually working in the hospital system, and she's a pediatric nurse. Her name is Nurse Donna, and I'll let her finish the rest. Nurse Donna is going to tell you from her personal 20-year experience, 30-year experience as a nurse. This is a real New York City nurse who's going to lay it out for you. Here we go. Um, it, it's kind of an accident. A colleague and I were really upset about everything we were seeing going on in the hospital, in our state, and in the country, and in our world, and we just said, you know, there's got to be other people like us. We're being made to feel like we're alone, and we just don't believe it. We made a Facebook page, and every day it grew by a thousand people. Yeah! We are now New Yorkers Against Medical Mandates, NIAM Inc. We're nonprofit. We are supporting people who are supporting us. People who are working hard and tirelessly to fight for our freedoms in the legal realm. People who are taking this all the way to the wall, losing their jobs, losing their livelihoods for a cause that is worth dying on the hill for. Do not be afraid, fear is not from the Lord. The powers that be in our country, in our state, in our world have been trying to make us fearful of one another, fearful of bugs and germs, fearful of other countries and other cultures. We are one body, brothers and sisters. what we're doing right now and and this is what I want to say about what we're all doing okay we need to put our differences aside yes. this is not a divisive issue this is a human issue the United Nations had on their cover page That's on their right. website that it is a human right to bodily autonomy this was just a couple of weeks ago yes. okay we live in America. We are founded on Judeo-Christian values for a reason, because God made us free, and we are free indeed. Do not succumb. Do not back down. Do not have a spirit of fear. Be strong and courageous and stand shoulder to shoulder and do not point fingers. I am not pointing fingers at our constituents, our neighbors, our colleagues, or whatever, who have a different viewpoint than we do. They have a different experience and they've also bought into the lie. Put your phones away. Put your social media away, even though that's my platform now, right? Use it for good things. but. Be wise, be discerning, and, and know when to recognize truth. And don't use this as a political front. I don't care about Biden, I don't care about Trump, I don't care if you're a Republican, I don't care if you're a Democrat, I don't care if you're black, yellow, white, purple, I don't care if you're Christian, Muslim, gay, straight, I don't care, okay? In these hospitals, in this city, in this state, and in this world, we are not saying that COVID doesn't exist. I'm not here to tell you that. But I will tell you that those tests can't detect COVID, okay? Okay? Have people been sick? Were people coming in the hospitals? Was there a peak of whatever this was going on? Yes. There was. 
but also nobody died of the flu this year. And we had no increase, we had no increased death rate in the United States or New York this year, okay? So do the math yourselves, people. The FDA themselves has just come off session and said, after two of their uh, doctors resigned, saying they don't want to be part of any Nuremberg trials going down the road, okay? So, so, well, good for them, and let's praise them because they're finally stepping up. And we need to encourage people that when they step up, that they're going to be supported and protected, okay? Listen, the FDA themselves has shown charts and data only in relation to the uh, cardiac effects and what was expected for every age group and male-female sex versus what was actual. And it's staggering and sickening and scary and it should send shivers down everybody's spine to the point that the FDA has now said, no boosters, no way. That's the first step, people. That's the first step. That's the first step. So I want to encourage all of you, okay? We have nonprofit lawyers, Christians, who are out here doing this as a ministry. And we need to support these people. We need to support people who are standing up. And we need to keep showing up. Don't stop showing up. They want to tire you out. They want to wear us down. Do not tire. You will walk and not be weird. disintegrate before us if we stand together. It's gonna happen. Anyway, people, you are my people and I am yours. And we are in this together and we are not gonna stop. We're gonna take it all the way until we take our lives to our country and our world back. Thank you for having us. Thank you.